Yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. To any of you guys ever see the very first video I ever did on YouTube, it was like four, maybe five years ago when it was the Food Dude channel. Uh, my first video was all about the law of thermodynamics, just how simple it was. And I had this thing with me, which is five pounds of fat. And I was talking about every pound of fat here is an extra 3,500 calories. If you eat more calories and you burn, you're going to get fat. If you burn more than you take in, you're going to lose weight. And it was really just that simple. And my main premise there was that a calorie is just a calorie. No matter, what, no matter where it comes from, it's just a calorie and they all work the same way. But since then... I have learned a whole lot better after all the reading and stuff that I've done. And so I'm going to show you guys how calories are not just calories, it's how they work in the body. And all this information is based on a video called Sugar, the Bitter Truth, which was posted on my Facebook wall many times and emailed to me. And it was emailed so many times to me, I was like, okay. I will watch this 90 minute video. And not only did I watch it once, I watched it four times. It's by a medical doctor named Dr. Robert Lustig and I'm gonna encourage everybody to watch it. But it is kind of long, so I'm gonna give you guys the abridged version today, the shortened version. So check this out. You guys have heard me say this before. People are heavier than ever and fat consumption has gone down, all right? which doesn't make sense. Actually, it does, though. As fat goes down the food, the taste goes down. So how do the manufacturers make up for the taste? They go ahead and put more sugar in it, and specifically, more high fructose corn syrup. So fat goes down, sugar goes up, we keep on getting fatter, we get more disease. So it's not the fat, it's the sugar, and I'm gonna prove why. And so, let's talk about sucrose, which is table sugar, what a lot of people probably put in their coffee and whatnot, sucrose. That is table sugar. Sucrose is made out of two types of sugars, glucose and fructose. We hear a lot about glucose and diabetes and whatnot. Fructose, in my opinion now, is a poison. It's a huge problem. Now you guys have also heard about high fructose corn syrup. And so high fructose corn syrup is again, glucose and fructose. And if you guys have ever seen the uh, Sweet Surprise commercials with the Corn Refiners Association is saying high fructose corn syrup is no different than regular, regular sugar. They're actually not lying to you. They're telling the truth. They're pretty much the same. They're both bad. The problem is in the quantity. We're eating way too much of them. And so a lot of people out there might say fructose can't be that bad. It's fruit sugar. You're right. It is fruit sugar. But check this out. Remember, I talked about quantity, eating too much of it. Natural fruit, natural fructose consumption, that's fructose consumption alone. Naturally, if you get it from fruits and vegetables, it's going to be about 15 grams per day. Prior to World War II, it was somewhere between 16 to 24, which is reasonable. That's not bad. Look what happened in 1977 through 1988. You got 37 grams per day per person. 8% of their total caloric intake. And I'll put a little asterisk there because in 1975 was when high fructose corn syrup was introduced into our food supply. 1994, 54.7 grams per day, 10.2% of total caloric intake. And now today's adolescents, of which one in four are obese or overweight, 72.8 grams per day of fructose, 12.1% of their total caloric intake. 72.8, 15. That's a big difference there, okay? So check this out. If a calorie is just a calorie, then we have to expect them to work the same way inside of the body. They definitely don't. First, let's look at 120 calories of glucose. So of that 120 calories of glucose, 80% gets used up by your organs, your muscles, the rest of your body because your cells and all the different things in your body run on glucose. That's their primary fuel. So 90%, 96% gets used up. The other 24%, the only the other 20%, I should say, which is 24 calories, gets to go to the liver. All right? And 120 calories of glucose is like two pieces of white bread, just so you guys can picture it. Now check this out. What happens to that 24 calories when it goes to the liver? Now, it gets into the liver, and that 24 calories is going to turn into something called calories of glucose, turns into something called glucose 6-phosphate. That phosphate means it has to be phosphorylated. It has to get a phosphate attached to it somehow. And so ATP, which is energy, adenosine triphosphate, 3-phosphate, gives up one of its phosphate, 
puts it on that G6P, and now that ATP, three phosphates, becomes ADP, diphosphate, two phosphates. So three to two, and that one goes here. That G6P turns into glycogen, which is your storage form of sugar. That's why runners and marathoners like to carbo those so they can really maximize their glycogen levels. Now, glucose also turns into pyruvate. Pyruvate goes to the mitochondria. If you guys remember from seventh grade science class, mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell where the ATP is made, where the energy is made. So it goes to the mitochondria, turns into something called acetyl acetylcholine. That goes to the Krebs cycle, yada, 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 and that makes energy and some carbon dioxide that you breathe off. But some of this acetyl-CoA is left over, turns into citrate, keep that in mind, citrate. And that citrate comes out of the mitochondria, gets worked on by some fat storing enzymes. These enzymes are what convert sugar into fat. And so they turn into, or that citrate is going to get converted into VLDL. That VLDL is a bad cholesterol. That's going to cause heart disease, that's going to cause obesity, and a lot of other issues. So you're going to get some fat there, but only... 0.5 calories. Only a half a calorie is going to turn into fat of those 120 calories. So it's really not that much. It's not that bad. Now let's look at sucrose. High fructose corn syrup, a glass of juice, we'll say. Now remember, of those 120 calories of sucrose, half of them are glucose. So 60 is glucose. And then the other 60 calories comes from fructose. So we already know 80% of that glucose gets used up by the organs, muscles, and the body, so 48 out here, and just 12 calories, which is 20%, goes to the liver. But look at this fructose. All 60 calories go to the liver. That should tell you something. None of it goes to the organs, muscles, and the body. Remember, the liver is one of its big jobs is to detoxify bad stuff. Is it any coincidence that all of it, 100%, goes right to the liver? There's something going on here. And so let's look at the total load. 12 plus 60 is 72. The total load on the liver from the sucrose is three times that of glucose alone. Because remember, glucose was only 24. So that says a lot itself. Let's keep rolling. Now what happens to that fructose? Remember, it's 60 calories of fructose. Plus, you can't, we can't forget about that 12 calories of glucose. That's a lot of phosphorylation. Remember that A- 3P turned to A2P, all right? That causes a whole lot of stuff going on with that ATP. That ATP becomes ATP, ADP, AMP, which is one phosphate, and then it comes with IMP. So there's a lot of phosphates being donated because there's 72 parts it has to deal with. Now, one of the problems is that there's a waste product called uric acid from this process. You guys have probably heard of uric acid. It causes gout. Well, that uric acid causes your endothelial cells, the cells that make your arteries, that line your arteries, to reduce their production of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide keeps things dilated. It keeps the, the, way, the lanes nice and wide in your arteries so stuff can flow, to, flow through. If there's no or very little nitric oxide there, what are you going to get? High blood pressure. That's a problem these days. Let's keep going. You're also going to get the production of xylulose 5P. That's going to cause an increase in those fat storing enzymes we were talking about earlier. Lots of fat storing enzymes. We'll talk about that in a second. Then we've got pyruvate again. We already talked about pyruvate. Turns into acetyl-CoA. Turns into ATP. But you got leftovers again. But now you've got a lot of leftovers. All of that citrate, remember the citrate, a lot of citrate, works with that lot of fat storing enzymes. Now you've got lots of VLDL, lots of heart disease making stuff, and you've got lots of fat. All right. And so that 120 calories of sucrose acts a lot differently in the body than that 120 calories of glucose alone. You can see how it's two completely different things and lands on or ends up with a lot of fat. So check this out. That's not it. Also in the liver with fructose, you get a liver droplet. That liver droplet is going to make you have a nice fatty liver. You're also going to get an increase in production of free fatty acids that go to your muscles that make you muscularly insulin resistant. That means your insulin levels are going to stay nice and high. What does insulin do? It stores fat. We don't want insulin resistance. You also get something called junk one. It's an enzyme produced in the liver. 
And that enzyme down regulates the insulin receptors, which makes you liver insulin resistant. That liver insulin resistance even makes your insulin levels go up even higher. Now you've got tons of insulin making tons of fat. Then you've got so much insulin going on that your brain can't see the production of leptin, which means that you're never full. You're always hungry, all right? That's why you're eating all day. And so what do we have here? We have the recipe for hypertension, high blood pressure, heart disease, obesity, insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, fatty liver, and we can't stop eating. So is a calorie really just a calorie? Absolutely not. They're completely different things. They work completely differently in the body. And until we realize that, we're just going to keep pointing the finger at fat. It's not the fat. It's the fructose. It's the sugar. And so I encourage you guys, if that went over your head, watch it four times. Watch it five times because a lot of our obesity problem is rooted in what I just talked about. And check out Dr. Lustig's video, Sugar the Bitter, Bitter Truth. I'll post a link right up there. Click on it. Watch it. I'm out of here. Peace.